Naperville has been growing for decades, but the past few years have seen several major residential projects in the city. Naperville News 17's Casey Krajewski has more on Naperville's building boom. Fifth Avenue, the Polo Club, and Wagner Farm are just three potential residential developments coming to Naperville. But besides additional residents, the new homes bring plenty of questions as well. For example, what kinds of homes should be built? Attainable or affordable housing in Naperville is something realtor Kristen Jungle said the market is asking for. I think it's really important that we address more affordable housing in Naperville um, for two groups of people. First, we have those recent college grads that grew up in town and want to come back and raise their families and either work here in town or have the accessibility of the Metro line. There's not a lot of options for that entry level home. So, and then we also have people that have raised their families here and they would prefer to stay in Naperville and downsize. Mayor Steve Chirico said keeping Naperville educated young professionals in the city is a challenge but attainable housing is something that can help. One of the things is housing. You know, the, having the type of housing that will attract the younger generation. That's why this Fifth Avenue development, I think, is going to be exciting. Attainable housing is also included in developer D.R. Horton's proposal for the Polo Club subdivision. But as Naperville continues to develop, space becomes premium. Decades ago, city officials adopted an ordinance to deal with the problem of diminishing green space. So the city adopted an ordinance um, for land cash in about the 1970s. Um, it's an ordinance that essentially requires a residential development to account for the impact that it will have on either the school or the park districts. The land cash donation ordinance requires a developer to donate either land or cash in lieu of land to the Naperville Park District. Not only does that help maintain Naperville's green space, but it also positively affects the real estate market. The amount of green space is really significant when people are looking at homes. They either want to see it right in their backyard or they want the walkability to a nearby park. Green space is one of Naperville's defining values, something Mayor Chirico said the city considers when evaluating new developmental proposals. You know, we want to make sure we protect our brand. Uh, people move to Naperville for you know, great schools, wonderful parks, and safe neighborhoods. And uh, so we need to protect that brand. The struggle going forward is simply finding the right balance between building more houses and maintaining the city's green space, a topic certain to come up in future city council meetings where these proposals will be discussed. For Naperville News 17, I'm Casey Krajewski. The Polo Club development is scheduled to be discussed at the Naperville City Council's November 7th meeting.